Okay, g'day, Tim. Look, uh, Andrew Dwight, uh, just going to quickly just run through what we went through on the phone there. I'm just going to go to your email. I've downloaded the email, and you'll see that I have my attachment down here. You'll see my mouse button is showing what my mouse is doing, so you can push this back if you want to. I hovered over my SketchUp model, and I'm putting it in there. Now, Scale, which is this tool here, you'll notice it's come up with these bounding boxes. I'm just going to drag it out like this, which basically allows me to zoom in and see the textures. Now, you'll remember that before we said, well, sometimes we need a higher resolution image. So Windows, Preferences, OpenGL, use maximum texture size. Yes, go OK. And now I have a larger texture size. OK, so I need to scale this plan. So I'm going to use my space bar, right? And I'm going to zoom in on the plan uh, so I can see what's going on. If you need to, you can get rid of this little dialog box over here and you can always get it back by default tray, show tray. Okay, just gives you a little bit more screen if you're working on a smaller screen. Okay, so you can see I pushed my center button down, which giving me the rotate. If I push my left button at the same time, I can move my model around or I can pan. Now, you can see that my plan is, uh, is blue. If I push space bar and select the outside of it, it's not. I click it, it is now blue. I zoom into the left hand side of the dimension here and I'm going to use my scale tool to the center, zoom out from over here and then zoom in over here and I'm going to write in the distance. You'll notice in the bottom down here that it will come out. It's called the VCV or the value control box and enter. Now I have my plan to scale. If I wanted to get everything inside of my window I can use the zoom extents which I showed you to use there is also these tools up here which you can get inside of view toolbars and if you want to maybe just play this back you can um, select all of the ones that I have you won't have Thea because it's a, a thing but essentially this one here uh, I use all the time okay all right so now I have a plan to scale the next thing I need to use is my uh, my skillion roof tool Okay, and in here I can put in the degrees of my roof, four degrees. Uh, okay, ceiling insulation is on the level, so probably not required. Materials, I can go through and I can change the type of material that I want to use. I assume it's going to be some sort of a trim deck or long span. You can choose whichever one you want. I'm going to use monoclad evening haze. Okay, and your capping and your gutter, you can change those as well. All right, so we can go submit. Oh, actually, what I want to do is I want to make sure I've got zero overhang because I'm going to draw with a zero overhang. So my eaves and feet lining is zero, which is good, which means I can trace from the outside. Go submit. Okay, so I'm going to zoom in and I'm going to get as close as I can here. And you'll notice down in the VCB there, it gives me the option to write in the size or I can simply just over allow a little bit if I wanted to. We're going to write in the right size, so 10 meters, 800, and enter. Okay, and keep an eye on my mouse. You'll see how I'm navigating this, zooming in. You see my mouse center scroll wheel there. I can type in a measurement, or I can simply just over allow a little bit. It appears to say 7 meters, 200 plus my overhang. I'm going to over allow just a touch and go outside of my line. Okay, I'm then going to go across to here. Now, what I want to do is I can write in 10 meters, 800, or I could push shift. And it will allow me to line up, so if I go out here on my red axis, it allows me to line up with my original. And you'll notice that it says 10 meters and, and 800. All right, it went in and it put my roof in there for me. Now, there are other things inside of um, Plusspec that allow you to do flashings and cappings as well. So if I go back to my roof tool and I go to this one here, I might want to have barge cappings, okay? And I might want to have fascia. Okay, so barge capping and fascia, or just fascia by itself. Fascia and barge are basically the same thing. This one would just do two at the same time. So I'm going to go. I'm going to click on this one here, and I'm going to go submit. I'm now going to go over to here, and I'm going to trace along the barge side there. And you'll notice that I now have a barge capping, and I have a piece of fascia. Same on this side here. Right, and I'm going from left to right when I draw. Now I'm going to go back and I'm going to put some fascia at the top. 
uh, face here. Here, submit. Go from here. You can over allow if you want to. It's already over allowing for you. You'll notice in the takeoff what happens. And down the bottom down here, I'm going to put some fascia in as well. Notice that I'm, I'm zooming out and zooming in and I'm navigating. That is where I believe that you can do with some training because it will save you a whole heap of time. Okay. <clears throat> if I do a bill of quantities on this, it'll give me the square meters of this and the lineal meters of cappings, barges, fascias, and gutter. So I do a takeoff. Okay. And you'll notice I have flashing. Two barges at what size and two fascias at, at what size. Gutter. Ironstone 10.8 meters and roofing. It gives me the total amount of roofing. Now, I understand when you're ordering sheets, you actually will want to um, go with whatever the effective cover of that sheet is. And this is something we are working on. So what I'm going to do, I'm actually going to hide this here. So if I right click, you can go down and say hide here. You can also edit and unhide up here. Right, and if I said, well, okay, first thing first, I want to know what length, and I'm going to allow some overhang up here. I can say, well, okay, for the line from here, so I pushed L, which is line, to here, plus 50 millimeters. You'll notice down in the VCB, it's got in here. I can go in and say, okay, well, I want uh, a 50 mil overhang, so that'll be 7620. 7620, enter. Right. This, the, with the, the more complex roof, you don't have to do this, it's built in. I can dimension it. You can set up a shortcut for dimension if you please. And you'll notice that I'll have the correct width and line here. Right. I can also move this line. So I pushed M, which is a shortcut for move. And if I said control on the red axis and said I wanted 760 effective cover, enter. And then I can go and say times 12 say and you can see up here where the line's gone to times 12 it's not enough times 14 so there's in that roof look your cappings would just about take up that but to be honest with you there's 16 sheets okay that's a good way of setting out how you want your sheets look there are so much more that you can do here and just say we looked at a, a more complex say roof uh, and I erase this section out of here and I use my roofing tool to get into something a little bit more detailed and so we wanted to have a 22 and a half degree roof with metal roofing and I went submit it put in my my uh, ridges for me uh, my hips my gutters and my face here for me so if I actually hid this one over here or all of it so I can just select all of it and hide it and now I did a bill of quantities it's done a bill of quantities on everything that was associated with this roof so you can see I've got valleys in there fascia gutter and roof you can also show the client how the roof is going to look uh, and this is allowed for overhangs inside of the gutter as well let me know what you think. Uh, I, I think some training would really help you out. Cheers, mate.